This is the most exciting YouTube video that I have ever filmed in my life. In case you're wondering what this big old boy is, literally probably like eight of my heads. This is a box that has come all the way from Sweden. I can't even wrap my arms around it this way. And it's for my dear old friend Andreas. And yes, I'm wearing nail polish. Don't judge me. And it is full of food. And I got it yesterday. And I have been dying to open it. So I'm opening it on camera. And I'm so excited about it. I'm going to back up so you can see. And you're going to be able to see my pajama pants. And it's all fine. I have a handy dandy knife right here. So, in case you can't tell, I'm really excited. <laughs> so... From what I know, this is candy. It says on the packing slip that I took off so that you can't steal my address, even though you can have my address if you want to mail me stuff, because I will love you. Let's open it, holy shit! I don't even know how, oh, we got some purple tape on the bottom. I'm <laughs> like waving this knife around like it's nothing. All right. Ooh, that's so satisfying. How does it work? These Swedish boxes, I'm telling you. I really hope this isn't, I hope this is how I'm supposed to do it. Andrea, if I'm breaking your heart, watching you, watching you break the box. <laughs> I don't think that's right. Oh my God, how do I do this? Safety first, folks. Oh my goodness. This is what happens when it's a box bigger than you. Ooh. Ready? How's it look? Oh my god, this is the most beautiful box I've ever seen. Let me put the knife away. Wow, look at all this rainbow like confetti. Wow. I just want to wear it. I'm going to just wear this the whole time. Wow, this is so cool. Oh my god, bubble wrap. This is the best part of the box. Oh my god! Look at how beautiful I am now. I've never been more myself. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is so beautiful. Andreas, oh my god. Look at this thing. I wish you could feel how heavy this is. Okay, we have a card. I'm gonna read it. It says, La 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 Llama. I love this. I love this. I love llamas. Hi, Carter. Sorry it took so long. Dude, it didn't. I hope you enjoy the selection of candy I sent you. P.S. What do you think of the card? I love it. Okay, so Andreas wrote everything, translated everything for me so I know what I'm going to be eating. Oh my god. I'll bring this up here so you can see it. Isn't this beautiful? Like, wow. Andreas, you are a superstar. This is the most beautifully packaged mail I've ever received in my life. And that's like really saying something. I'll let you guys see it first again. More rainbow! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I cannot wait. I'm gonna be so full after this. It's insane. Oh my god, it smells so strong. My dog is going nuts. <laughs> Does it smell good, Bobby? Does it smell good? You can't have any. No, no, you get. You get, okay? You can't. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with something. We have these in Canada, Kinder Surprise. But I'm really excited to see what kind of to <laughs> No, no. This is bad for you. No, go lay down. Go to your bed. These are uh, Kinder Surprise. We have these, but the label is so much more clean because there's no French. And I kind of love that. And then there's like a little toy thing in here. And then... It Oh my god, is it a car? Oh my god, it's a car. Oh my god, it's a toy car. Yes! And then so you get a little toy inside your egg and you get to assemble it, assemble it and it comes with stickers. And I love that it's a toy car. Because I'm a little boy and I love toy cars still. Okay, next thing I see is plop. Plop. Looks like this. Milk chocolate with toffee filling, it says. I feel like I'm going to love this. Cloetta plop. I love it. It's called a plop. Hey, can you go to the store and get me a plop? <laughs> okay. Wow, it smells 
Wow, that smells wild. So like, first impression, it looks like a caramel. Yeah, it, it's very much so caramel -y. Oh wow, that's very different from a caramel. <laughs> it's good though, but very sweet. <laughs> I would rate that like a, like a six out of 10. This is a kick, a soft licorice toffee. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. I don't love licorice. Oh, <laughs> look at it. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> if you like black licorice, this is really good. But I don't. <laughs> These are. Smartke Originalet Super Cert Svens Svensk Tradition Sedan 1956 Sour Confectionery with Fruit Flavors I don't know what that means but I'm excited to try it They're like little flat, oh I should have showed you Like little flat saucery things Oh it's not soft Mmm Mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna eat those. Mmm. Mmm. This note on this bar really caught my eye. It's called a sport lunch. And Andreas wrote on here, like a Kit Kat, but better. And I love Kit Kats, so no pressure, Andreas. Mmm, I'm still loving that candy. The more I chew it, the better it gets. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'll just bite it. Mmm. I think it is better than a Kit Kat. Mmm, I like that. Mmm, I haven't been rating them. Okay, those gummy candies, like a 9 out of 10 because I love the gummy candies. This, another 9 out of 10. I don't know what's if there's gonna be a 10 because I really want to save that for something amazing. Um, banana skids, banana and ba banana, banana and toffee flavored chew bar. Um, this is probably gonna be delicious because I love banana things. Oh wow, it opens weird. You just like unroll it like a fruit roll up. Why is it brown? <laughs> it's half brown. I didn't expect that. Is it gonna be like a Laffy Taffy? Oh. I can't chew it. It's like a banana Laffy Taffy, but better. Mmm. I like that. I could eat this all day. 8 out of 10, because it's kind of really hard to chew. Okay, so he sent me like a few of those. So that's awesome. I can share them with my non-existent friends. Oh, this is wild. This is like the same as the other one, but this is salty. It says salty wine gum. A salty wine gum. Okay, I love salty things, but like, ah! oh my God. Oh, it smells like this. Oh, sick. <laughs> it smells like a type of bait we use to catch fish here. <laughs> Ew, I don't even want to chew it. Ew, I hate it. Ew, I can't. Ew. <laughs> Next we have Doomly. Doomly Original. It's a sucker. So I'm just going to give it a quick little sucky suck. <laughs> That's what she said. And he sent like a bunch of them. So if any of my Canadian friends want to try a Doomly Sucker, I got you. Are, are Swedish people really strong? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what? <laughs> it looks like that. You guys don't care about presentation much there, eh? Oh. Mmm. It's good. What is that? Milk chocolate coated... Toffee lollipop version of the other Doomly. These are the other Doomlies. 
We'll get to those in a minute. This is good. It's like a 7 out of 10. Like if someone gave me one, I would eat it. But I wouldn't want to buy it for myself. Like there's lots of other things I would choose. Okay, so we're going to try the other Doomly. I don't know if that's how you say it. It's definitely not how you say it. So it looks like just a little chocolate coated nugget. Oh, it's soft. Oh, it's good. I don't know if it's good, but... That's so satisfying to me. Mmm. Yeah. This is good. This is an 8 out of 10. What's this? Raisins? Violet pastilles. What does that mean? <laughs> is it flowers? He wrote this. Violet pastilles. Pastiles. Pastilles. Pastille. In Spanish. Oh. What? It looks like just a little... And it's hard. Oh, it's really hard. I suck on it? Oh. Oh. What's the ingredients? What is it? It doesn't have much of a taste. But the taste that it does have isn't very nice. It tastes kind of soapy. Like, have any of you guys tried Thrills gum? It tastes a little like that. Dame. I love this. I like the way this looks. Dame. Hard caramel covered in milk chocolate. Okay. Oh my god. That's good. It's got a little like salty kick to it. Mmm. I like that. I really like that. Mmm. Mmm. That's like an eight and a half out of ten. That's really good. This is another salty one. Oh yeah. <laughs> um Jungle Vrawl. Original. Monkey shaped licorice covered in salt. One of my favorites. <laughs> Andres, <laughs> I'm sorry if I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep, yeah, this is what it looks like. That's a lot of salt. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Why is it so salty? How do you eat that? Should I just deal with it? Should I just suck it up and try again? I can't eat it. Ugh. I'm so sorry that I don't like that. Algren's Blizzard. Sferiges Mest Coptabil. Car shaped marshmallows. Oh yeah, baby. Come to daddy. Wait, what? Oh no, they're good. I need to get that salty flavor out of my mouth. These are good. 8 out of 10. Helja Sparijes Fredgasms. <laughs> My favorite flavor of chips. So are these like barbecue Andreas? Is that what you, they would be? Oh. That's what they look like. They're grill flavored. This tastes exactly like ramen noodle seasoning. So like if you toss your chips in the ramen sauce, that's what this is. 8 out of 10. Yum. Let's go with this. A Kex chocolate bar. Filled wafers in milk chocolate. Kind of sounds and looks like another Kit Kat. 
It says it's a go-to favorite snack in Sweden. I have smaller hands than Donald Trump, don't judge. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> the wafers aren't really dense like you find in most chocolates. They're really light and airy, which is really nice. This is Zoo. Smagotis Meg Pigged Fruitic Smack. A fruit snack. Monkey-shaped wine gum with fruity taste. Yum. They're like hard. They're not super squishy. Like most gummy candies, like if I try squish it, it takes a lot of effort. They're okay. They're not great. They're like a 6 out of 10. Okay, this is Brio. Andrea says, not sure what, what type of candy this is, but they're really good. Fruity taste. They can be really hard. So can I. <laughs> they look like chiclets. Honestly, that's what I thought they were. I thought they were gum. I don't know if my palate screwed up or if these taste like nothing. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Seven and a half out of ten. This is a center bar. It looks amazing. Andrea says it's a milk chocolate bar with soft running toffee filling. Very similar to a caramel. But like they're inside. It's way more rich and way more sweet. So like I would choose a caramel over this just because I'm I don't love things to be as sweet, but this is definitely good. Okay, so this is a Jap. And we might want to remember this because another chocolate bar in here has stuff from a Jap. So, milk chocolate with cocoa meringue and caramel. Get in my mouth right now. Get in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> Yum. First impression, Mars bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Sorry guys, I had a phone call. Okay, first I'm going to rate this Jap um, a 9 out of 10. Because it's basically a Mars and I love Mars bars. So we're going to go with the cheese doodles and then we'll try these guys. Oh, these are basically like... I guess this is our version of Cheetos. I'm not sure though. Yeah, looks like Cheetos or Cheesies. Canada has Cheesies made by Hawkins. They're very... They're very like small and the color's off. They're good. Um they taste they're good. They taste a little bit less artificial than like cheaties. Cheaties. I just mix cheesos che <laughs> <laughs> I just mixed cheesies and Cheetos and made Cheaties and Cheezos. <laughs> yeah, those are good. Um, I'm probably going to eat those once I'm done eating all these. That's going to be the first thing I finish. So like 9.5 out of 10 because I love it. So this is the best chocolate in the world. It's just a milk chocolate bar according to Andreas. It's Swedish, Swedish chocolate called Marabu. Oh, he says this go this says go Sweden. Go Sweden, go. So this is what it looks like. It's just super beautiful. And it's got the little M. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. I'm no chocolate connoisseur or anything. But it's very creamy. It's not too sweet. That's nice. That's a good chocolate. I'm gonna use this for like s'mores, even though summer's over. <laughs> I'm just gonna 
light a match in my house and make s'mores with them. All right, now the Marabu Jap. Andreas' favorite chocolate combination ever. Look how satisfying this is to open. Like, I love that. Ooh, this is a bumpy boy, okay. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. The bumpy boys are the other things. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. This is good. I would choose this one over it, though. Because these little bumpy guys make it so sweet. So that's all the candy. I just need to pick a favorite. Oh my god, this is hard. I don't know. I really like the Jap bar. And then I really like... The Dame was good too, this one. I don't know, I'm gonna go with these. These things are my favorite. So they're gonna get the 10 out of 10 because I really love them. I love sour gummy candies, they're so good. These are so good. I can't wait to share all these with my friends and family um, and to not share them. <laughs> Just saying. First things first, Andreas, thank you so much. Can everyone give some love? Brian Grace in the comments below. He's amazing and this video would not be possible without him. This food is good. Some of it, definitely not my thing, but that's okay. <laughs> I can't like everything. And I'm so happy that I got to try all these things. I would love to try candies from everywhere, but I know that's not really possible unless I go there. So thank you, Andre, so much. Thank you all so much for watching. This has probably been my favorite YouTube video of all time <laughs> because I get to sit here and I get to eat things and I'm really good at that. So I hope you have a great day. I love you. Please love yourself. Um, yeah. Okay. Bye. Let me swallow. <laughs> oh, that's what she said.